It is called one of the most dangerous hikes in the world. An average of one person per year does die doing this hike. Yeah, someone just died right there. It's because we're stuck in traffic, there's a trail right there. And if you just pull over, we can go, we can probably avoid all this traffic. Cut to. <laughs> We are going to head to Emerald Pool Upper and Middle today. And because the bridge to the lodge is closed, this whole thing is like a line. Uh, Asaya National Park is just a line. And so we started at the bottom where the hotels are. We went to stop four, got out there, could not get on a bus at five because the, uh, the bridge across the river is closed. And so now we're heading to six. We got weather be flash flood be really good content be good got con good content if we had a flash flood that is flooded wow please don't kick me keep passing people and they're like, turn around, there's a storm ahead. And we're like, no, F you. There's the lodge, there's the closed bridge. And we started down there, we're going up here. It's raining, Mel has a jacket. I don't, I didn't think it was gonna rain. <laughs> uh, let's find like a overhanging thing. Oh God. That's it. That's the pool. Cool. Oh, I see you can go underneath this if you want to. Mel is hanging back. She got up early and made a coffee run before I was awake. So she's tired. So she's staying down there, just at the bottom of this upper pool trail. I don't know when I'll ever come here again, so. This is middle, uh, middle pool, middle falls, whatever. And then that's upper. So Mel was sitting there. Well, I went all the way up. Oh God, it's so difficult. And I got up to there. And there's all those people. Really cool. That's where we were. This is where we are. This is stop six. And now we're gonna walk home. We're gonna drive, we're gonna take a shuttle. We're gonna get down on one of those shuttles and go home. Uh oh. We're at the Zion Lodge. We wanted a cocktail and we had just eaten downstairs. You can't get a cocktail without ordering food because of Utah law. So we got a uh, grilled cheese sandwich off the children's menu because that felt like just sticking it to the system. You know what? I gotta get booze, that's fine. I'll get children's food with it. Uh, so anyway, we got we got some drinks and then for some reason we're gonna be the only people out on this patio It's very nice. Very nice here. I don't think 
I would stay here. We chose to stay at a hotel in Springdale, which is just outside the park. I mean, it's right there. You can, we walked from our hotel. There's all the amenities and stuff that you need and Wi-Fi and phone. And here, I, my phone's not working. And, um, you know, the amenities, they're, they're okay. They're okay. It's nice to be in the park, but right now the bridge is closed, so you couldn't even walk to those trails. If we came back or if we gave anybody a recommendation, it would be to uh, stay in Springdale and take the shuttle into the park. Thank you. <laughs> this is this is our hotel. That is to your death. <laughs> I don't even understand where this is going. This switchbacks down, all the way down to the river, which is down there. You can't see it, it's around the edge. God. Are you sure this is what we want to do? No. I mean, here's the thing it's like this. like unstable all the way down to that river. I don't know, man. I think this is a trail over here. So I think you just have to skirt along this guy. I thought you had to go down there, which is just like ridiculous. So, all right, we're gonna go over here. Okay. So not that way. <laughs> It was not, in fact, straight down the hill. I'm almost embarrassed that I thought that that was the way to go, um, considering the people we saw coming back up, but it is, it is still sketch. Well, that was a little sketch and pretty far, but I think it's just made worse by the fact that it just rained. So it's a little bit more slippery than it normally would have been. But what's crazy is this, this trail just kind of leads to the trail we were just at. We're gonna find a nice place to uh, have a cocktail and, and then head back. Hey, Mel! I legitimately lost her. Back up. <laughs> oh, yeah. So easy coming up. That was um, fun, but not easy. Not easy on the knees. <laughs> it, should have, it should have an age limit. <laughs> What's in that? What is that? I bet that's a cocktail. So we did not win the lottery. So we can't not do Angel's Landing, but a ranger at the visitor's center told us that we could go up the, the staircase. We just can't go along the, the cable area, which is what's actually restricted. And we can go to a different uh, section called Scouts something. Other. Scouts Walk, Scouts Landing, Scouts Honor. New information. Maybe we can, can excuse me. We, uh, we have a little bit of trouble. But all the signs. Literature says different. So, so online it says that. As a rule follower, I'm freaking out. Yes. 
as a rule breaker, I'm Despite not. Despite what the ranger said. Right. The paperwork says you can't go there. So online, and I think when we applied for it, yes. it said there'll be someone checking your, your pass at the grotto, which is right at the bridge we just crossed, and at the top. But the ranger today said, no, you should definitely still go. That's what he said. Um, you just can't go on the, the cabled area, the dangerous area, which is limited to 800 hikers per day. 800 lottery winners per day. Another interesting piece of information is that if you um, hike Angel's Landing without a permit, the fine is $5,000. That's also part of what is worrying Mel. This is the staircase. And if you zoom way in, you can see people. Oh, there we go. We just passed a ranger who was a 19-year-old girl sweating profusely <laughs> and Mel still got off nervous. <laughs> We'll see. So far, we have survived unscathed. I'll keep you posted. It's pretty. That will give us shade on the way down. Is there gonna be a sign that tells us when the quiet zone is over? What's it gonna say? Loud zone? We're almost out of the, we're almost, we're almost out of the quiet zone. Butterfly. Butterfly. This is Angel's Landing, what you need the permit for. What we did, you did not need the permit for, but it is definitely confusing, um, which is nice because I think that's one of the reasons that the trail wasn't so crowded. So these are part of the 800 lucky lottery winners that get to hike this Angel's Landing. And um, it is called one of the most dangerous hikes in the world. Um, an average of one person per year does die doing this hike. It goes up along this rim here, and uh, yeah, someone just died right there. It's, it's definitely impressive, like when you're on it. But from here, it's almost the coolest view because this is where you kind of go up it, and then go along the crest of this up there, all the way up there, and then that's it. Nope, more sorry. And then that's it, that's where you stop. But that's like pretty amazing. And so Mel went up there and there were like a bunch of ladies that were like, what, we're not doing this. So they like won the lottery and then didn't use their spot, which I'm sure the park accounts for that. But um, man, that is, I don't, I don't know if it translates on video, but just how like sketch it is. 23 documented people have fallen from that trail. They said it's probably closer to 30, but it averages out to one a year. And last year, zero. This year, I think zero, but I don't know. That is crazy. Definitely do not get how steep this is. Like, I am three big steps from pretty sweet skydive. We decided to head back. We're uh, four miles in. So go down there and go to the, the lodge and get our drink on. Get our drink. Pay attention to where you're walking. 